you ready? I'm incredibly proud of my team, our team, our seniors. We started this journey with nine people who had never put on a jersey in August, who had never put a Duquesne jersey on, seven of them being freshmen. The three seniors, the two that you see here, and Millie Gronish, who's not up on the panel right now, have exemplified all of our standards and what we are at Duquesne, and I'm incredibly proud of them. Uh, they are great individuals on the court, off the court, in the classroom. <clears throat> what they showed tonight, I thought, was composure and confidence, and they gave everything that they had on that floor for 40 minutes, and we fell to a much better team. I think I said it earlier, the most dominant team in the world we lost to tonight. And we gave it everything we had. Um, you know, I'm reminded of, uh, and I'm paraphrasing when I say it, everybody's got a plan. It might, the Mike Tyson quote, everybody's got a plan until you get punched in the face. And on that second quarter, we got punched in the face. And uh, instead of losing what the plan was, I think we, we still battled. And uh, if you look at the quarter breakdown, um, we didn't win a quarter, but we, we certainly battled. All right, we're going to start with questions for the student athletes, and we'll go to Rich first. Um, <clears throat> you know, it, it was really hard, but we all went to the locker room and um, everyone had their heads up high. Um, we still had 20 more minutes to play um, and we gave it all we got. Um, everyone played with heart and we still believed. Obviously, they're the better team, though. Okay, down in front here. <clears throat> Um, I mean, they were switching the speed of the game, the physicality they brought is just unbelievable. Um, obviously, you know, they scouted us just as much as we scouted them, so they were blowing up some of our plays, um, and we kind of got in scattered situations, but, you know, props to them, best team in the country. Down here in front. <clears throat> There's some big girls. Their arms are really long. <laughs> um, like, I guess for, for me, I know um, their arms would bother, like, the view of the basket. But I was still trying to go up against them. I wasn't backing down or anything like that. But their length really did bother us um, going up into the basket. So. Okay, right in front here. Well, we made history. We made it to the NCAA tournament. We won the first game in the tournament, made it to the second. Um, I'm actually glad we went out to the number one team in the country than anybody else. They're a great team. What other way? Like, this is the best way to go out for me, at least. Yeah, and I think we kind of set the bar really high for Duquesne women's basketball. Um, our graduate assistant, Olivia Bresenhan, actually just stayed in the locker room that um, the seniors and the upperclassmen set the bar so high that in future years to come, you know, it's not, it's about making to the tournament, but it's about getting to the next round and the next round and continuing making this program um, as good as they can be. Margaret? Oh. Feel like you're back in school. <laughs> you got class in the morning. Um, I think our game plan would stay the same. 
Um, maybe some better decision making on the offensive end. Um, I think we played well defense tonight, the best to our ability. Just change little things in our offense. I think our game plan was very – they're just a good team. They're a great team. Go ahead. Shoot, I want to cry, but um, hugging everybody, it was just, you know, to have the opportunity to be here and to be a part of a group, a team with a group of girls that just get along so well, it's just, it's unbelievable. And, if, you know, if I could redo it all, all over again, I would definitely do it. And, you know, we wouldn't be where we're at if it wasn't for everyone in that locker room. Okay, anything else for the student athletes? One more? Okay, go ahead. Well, I could tell my son about it. <laughs> Got to play the number one team in the country, and I, I think we all balled out as best as best as we could. We fought to the end. Um, some of the hurry, except I don't have a kid yet, but definitely <laughs> tell my kids one day. <laughs> but it was, overall, it was a great experience. Um, hopefully, our girls can experience again. Okay. Thank you very much.